Hi, I'm David Saxon with Heap, and today I have Jackson Knoll from AppQs joining me. Welcome, Jackson. Hey, David. Happy to be here. Well, Jackson, thanks for taking the time, uh, and just very excited about the partnership overall. Uh, but first, just the big question is like, hey, love for you to share the story of AppQs and, and about the company and everything, and just uh, hear it from uh, kind of the, the CEO's mouth. Yeah, absolutely. So AppQs is a product-led growth platform. We have over 1,200 customers from startups and SMBs all the way up through uh, large companies like IBM, OpenTable, and 25 other public companies. Mm -hmm. And our customers use us to personalize uh, user experiences inside of their product to drive uh, key product metrics like activation, adoption, and retention, and ultimately help their businesses grow uh, faster and more scalably. That's great. That's great. And you recently uh, announced this product-led growth initiative, and love to kind of understand a little bit more about that and and where you guys came to kind of coming to that. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, AppQs really started off with a very humble product vision. Uh, we really just wanted to help customers get a simple user onboarding experience guide or tutorial live inside of their products without having to go through their engineering team. Mm -hmm. And we just, we just heard, when we talked to customers, we heard so much pain about uh, the time it took to even make a really small change to the product experience. And so that, that was really our heritage. And as, as time has gone on, we, we, we just started thinking about like, what is the next act of AppQs? Like, where do we take this? And we talked to a lot of customers and, and in doing this, we, we just kept coming back to like this higher level business methodology um, and this sort of more macro trend that is happening in, in the software world where everything is becoming more product led. Mm. Uh, it used to be that the primary distribution model for software was, was through a sales team. You had to go through a sales team right. uh, to distribute your software to customers. And now with the advent of, of cloud-based distribution, uh, with more competition within product categories than ever, with more of an emphasis on user experience, um, way more companies are going to market uh, with their product and allowing customers to, to try before they buy, uh, providing a self-service experience and ensuring that they are reducing friction throughout their user experience. And um, you know, for us, this, this isn't really a pivot in our business. It's really just how we're going to elevate it and how we're going to align to that higher level business methodology of product-led growth and really make sure that everything we're doing from, our, uh, from the way we sell, support, and build our product is aligning to that for our customers. Yeah, that's great. That's great. We see a lot of that as well, just kind of like just really products out there should make it very frictionless. I like the word that you kind of state to kind of like try it, use it, experience it, and just kind of really embrace kind of like, uh, you know, making these customers kind of understand the value of the solutions out there in the market. So uh, we're excited about the partnership. So it's great to kind of have you, uh, this uh, integration that we've kind of built out and working with you guys, it's been great experience across the board, but talk to us a little bit about what makes you, uh, you know, excited about kind of like the value that we have together. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, super stoked about this, um, mainly just because our customers are really excited about it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when we talked to customers, we just we heard that there was this pain point around audience management and really kind of a multi homing cost, if you will, of like having to set a segment or, or like a cohort of users in Heap and then having to do the same thing in AppQs. And it just created all this extra work. Um, and so you know, when, when our two teams started talking, it just made so much sense for, for us to have a very seamless sync of, of the audiences or cohorts that, that you are generating in Heap to AppQs to automatically be able to target and personalize your product experience based on, you know, how you're already setting up your, your data and your customer segments. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great, and it's been uh, the the response so far has been very overwhelming. Uh, it's been great because we have a lot of mutual customers uh, that have been kind of involved in in helping kind of drive this uh, integration and everything, which is always kind of uh, beneficial when you have like real live use cases. Yeah, Jackson, where do you see analytics fitting into this whole kind of product growth model that you guys talk about? I mean, you can't really do it without analytics. Um, so you you know at at the very base level of product like growth, you need to understand where your users are in their life cycle. Um, and, you know, do you, are your users brand new users who are just trialing, experimenting with your product for the first time? 
Are they um, kind of your, your core regulars? Are they your champions who are evangelizing your, uh, your product and your brand? Um, and if you don't understand that first, it's really hard to influence behavior and reinforce that success path mm. from a brand new user to a power user. Uh well, great. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, there's definitely some more information that we're going to have on our website, heap.io slash appcues about the partnership. And uh, appreciate you uh, being here with us today. We're really excited. Thanks for having me, David. Great.